seeking, can produce beauty of truth who are everywhere present in those all things, purge me of good things and giver of light, come and dwell in us and cleanse us of all impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, blot out our sins, O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. <laughs> Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself our King and God. The Lord hear thee in the day of affliction, the name of the God of Jacob defend thee. Let him send forth unto thee help from the sanctuary, and out of Zion let him help thee. Let him remember every sacrifice of thine, and my over offering let him fatten. The Lord grant thee according to thy heart, and fulfill all thy purposes. We will rejoice in thy salvation, and in the name of the Lord our God shall we be magnified. The Lord fulfill all thy requests. Now have I known that the Lord hath saved his anointed one. He will hearken unto him out of his holy heaven. In mighty deeds is the salvation of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will call upon the name of the Lord our God. They have been fettered and have fallen, but we are risen and are set upright. O Lord, save the King, and hearken unto us in the day when we call upon thee. O Lord, in thy strength the King shall be glad, and in thy salvation shall he rejoice exceedingly. The desire of his heart is not granted unto him, and is not denied him the request of his lips. Thou wentest before him with the blessings of goodness, that was set upon his head a crown of precious stone. He has life to thee, and thou gave us some length of days, and to ages of ages. Lead us his glory in thy salvation, glory and majesty shall be lay upon him. For thou shalt keep him blessing forever and ever. Thou shalt gladden him and joy with thy countenance. <clears throat> for the king opens in the Lord into the mercy of the Most High, shall he not be shaken? Let thy hand be found on all thine enemies. Let thy right hand find all that hate thee. For thou wilt make them as an oven and fire in the time of thy presence. The Lord in his wrath will trouble them for thee, and fire shall devour them. Their fruit will thou destroy from the earth, and their seed from the sons of men. For they have intended evil against thee. They have devised counsels which they shall not be able to establish. For thou shalt make them turn their backs, and on those who are thy remnant, thou shalt make ready their countenance. Be thou exalted, O Lord, in thy strength. We will sing and chant to thy mighty acts. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, blot out our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. 
the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of the ages. Amen. Save, O Lord, thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Grant thou unto Orthodox Christians victory over enemies, and by the power of thy cross do thou preserve thy commonwealth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O thou who hast lifted up willingly on the cross, bestow thy mercies upon the new community named after thee, O Christ God. Glad with thy power the Orthodox Christians, granting them victory over enemies. May they have as thy help the weapon of peace, the invincible trophy, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O awesome intercession that cannot be put to shame, O good one, disdain not our prayer. O Alvin Theotokos, establish the commonwealth of the Orthodox, save the Orthodox Christians, and grant unto them victory from heaven. For thou dost bring forth God, O thou only blessed one. I became as a man that heareth not, and that hath in his mouth no reproofs. For in thee have I hoped, O Lord, thou wilt hearken unto me, O Lord my God. For I said, Let never mine enemies rejoice over me. Yea, when my feet were shaken, those men spake boastful words against me. For I am ready for scourges, and my sorrow is continually before me. 
for I will declare mine iniquity, and I will take heed concerning my sin. But mine enemies live, and are made stronger than I, and they that hated me unjustly are multiplied. They that render me evil for good slandered me, because I pursued goodness. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me, be attentive unto my help, O Lord of my salvation. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me, be attentive unto my help, O Lord of my salvation. O God, my God, unto thee I rise early at dawn. My soul hath thirsted for thee. How often hath my flesh longed after thee in the land of Aaron, and untrodden, and unwatered. So in the sanctuary have I appeared before thee to see thy power and thy glory. For thy mercy is better than lives. My lips shall praise thee. So shall I bless thee in my life, and in thy name will I lift up my hands. As with marrow and fatness let my soul be filled, and with lips of rejoicing shall my mouth praise thee. If I remember thee on my bed at the dawn, I meditated on thee. For thou art become my helper, and the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul hath cleaved after thee, thy right hand hath been quick to help thee. But as for these in vain, if they sought after my soul, they shall go into the nethermost parts of the earth, they shall be surrendered unto the edge of the sword. Portions for foxes shall they be. But the king shall be glad in God, everyone shall be praised that sweareth by him, for the mouth of them is stopped that speak unjust things. At the dawn I meditated on thee, for thou art become my helper, and the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul hath cleaved after thee, thy right hand hath been quick to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of the ages. Amen. O Lord God of my salvation, by day have I cried in my night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, bow down thy ear into my supplication. For filled with evils is my soul, and my life unto Hades hath drawn nigh. I am counted with them, they go down into the pit, I am become as a man without help free among the dead. Like the bodies of the slain that sleep in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more, and they are cut off from thy hand. They laid me in the lowest pit, in darkness and in the shadow of death. Against me is thine anger made strong, and all thy billows hast thou brought upon me. Thou hast removed my friends afar from me, they have made me an abomination unto themselves. I have been delivered up, and have not come forth, my eyes have grown weak from poverty. <clears throat> I have cried unto thee, O Lord, the whole day long, I have stretched out my hands unto thee. Nay, for the dead will thou work wonders, so shall physicians raise them up, that they may give thanks unto thee. Nay, shall any in the grave tell of thy mercy, and of thy truth, and thy destruction. Nay, shall thy wonders be known in thy darkness, and thy righteousness in that land that is forgotten. But as for me, unto thee, O Lord, have I cried, and in the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Wherefore, O Lord, dost thou cast off my soul, and turnest thy face away from me? A poor man am I, and in troubles for my youth. Yea, having been exalted, I was humbled and brought to distress. Thy furies have passed upon me, and thy terrors have sorely troubled me. They came round about me like water all the day long. They compassed me about together. Thou hast removed afar from me, friend and neighbor, and my acquaintances because of my misery. O Lord God of my salvation, by day have I cried, and by night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, bow down thine ear unto my supplication. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. <coughs> bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all that he hath done for thee, who is gracious unto all thine iniquities, who healeth all thine infirmities, who redeemeth thy life from corruption, who crowneth thee with mercy and compassion, who fulfilleth thy desire with good things, thy youth shall be renewed as the eagles. The Lord performeth deeds of mercy and executeth judgment for all them that are wronged. 
He hath made his ways known unto Moses, unto the sons of Israel, the things that he hath willed. Compassionate and merciful is the Lord, long-suffering and plenteous in mercy. Not unto the end will he be angered, neither unto eternity will he be wroth. Not according to our iniquities that he dealt with us, neither according to our sins that he rewarded us. For according to the height of heaven from the earth, the Lord hath made his mercy to prevail over them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our iniquities from us. Like as a father hath compassion upon his sons, so hath the Lord had compassion upon them that fear him. For he knoweth whereof we are made, he hath remembered that we are dust. As for man his days are as the grass, as a flower of the field, so shall he blossom forth. For when the wind is passed over it, then it shall be gone, and no longer will it know the place thereof. But the mercy of the Lord is from eternity, even unto eternity, upon them that fear him. And his righteousness is upon sons of sons, upon them that keep his testament and remember his commandments to do them. <coughs> the Lord in heaven hath prepared his throne, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, all ye his angels, mighty in strength, that perform his word, to hear the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, all ye his hosts, his ministers, that do his will. Bless the Lord, all ye his works, in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. In every place of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, hear my prayer, give ear unto my supplication in thy truth. Hearken unto me in thy righteousness and enter not into judgment with thy servant, for in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul, he hath humbled my life down to the earth. He hath sat me in darkness as those that have been long dead, and my spirit within me has become despondent. Within me my heart is troubled. I remember days of old, I meditated on all thy works, I pondered on the creations of thine hands. I stretch forth my hands unto thee, my soul thirsteth unto thee like a waterless land. Quickly hear me, O Lord, my spirit hath fainted away. Turn not thy face away from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy mercy in the morning, for in thee have I put my hope. Cause me to know, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk, for unto thee have I lifted up my soul. Rescue me from mine enemies, O Lord, unto thee have I fled for refuge. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy good spirit shall lead me in the land of uprightness. For thy name's sake, O Lord, shalt thou quicken me. In thy righteousness shalt thou bring my soul out of affliction, and in thy mercy shalt thou utterly destroy mine enemies. And thou shalt cut off all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. Hearken unto me, O Lord, in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Hearken unto me, O Lord, in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Thy good spirit shall lead me in the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. In peace, let us praise the Lord.
this holy monastery are commanded by Satan and all his brethren in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For his land is for his dark forces. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the God who is your Russian land, has Orthodox people, both in the whole land and the diaspora, and for their salvation. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. For this holy monastery, for every city and country, and the faithful that dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. For seasonable weather amongst the fruits of the earth and peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. Travelers by sea, land and air, for the sake of suffering in prison, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. As we be delivered from all tribulation, wrath and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us of mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy ourselves and one another, and all our life unto Christ our God. Through thee, O Lord. Grant to all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In the eighth tone, God is the Lord that appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. God is the Lord, and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name And therein is produced the fruit of humility. 
Almighty, the children of obedience, move forth of the kingdoms, the abode of the Trinity. Thou hast illumined with thy miracles, all who have recourse to thee with faith, granting healing in abundance unto all. O Sergius, our Father, entreat Christ God that He save our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, causing meekness, humility, and love to dwell in thy soul. Thou didst earnestly serve the suffering, O holy passion, bear Princess Elizabeth. Wherefore, with faith with the martyr Barbara, thou didst faithfully endure sufferings and death for Christ, pray both for all who honor you with love. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, amen. The mystery hidden from thee for the ages, and the Keep his way, and he shall exalt thee to inherit the earth. What sinners are utterly destroyed, thou shalt see it. 
I have seen the ungodly man highly exalted and lifting himself up like the cedars of Lebanon. But I passed by, and lo, he was not. I saw him, and the place was not to be found. Keep innocence, and behold uprightness. For there is a remnant for the peaceable man, but the transgressors shall be utterly destroyed, together with the remnants of the ungodly shall be utterly destroyed. But the salvation of the righteous is from the Lord, and he is their defender in a time of affliction. And the Lord shall help them and shall deliver them. And he will rescue them from sinners and will save them because they have hoped of him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to thee, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to thee, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Again, again, at peace, let us praise the Lord. Lord, help us, save us, and mercy us. So God, by thy grace. All in remembrance of us, Lord, in this pure one, by the body, send it to the Lord. And the Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves to one another. All our life unto Christ our God. Through thee, O Lord. Thine is the dominion, and thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. With you, if I'm memorial after all, Praise Father Sergius, gladdening my chosen flock. In their wrong, we celebrate with honor the uncovering of thy holy relics, and magnify with joy the Lord who hath given thee the grace of miracles, crying aloud, Glory to him who hath given thee strength, glory to him who hath crowned thee, glory to him who hath given healing to all through thee, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O all holy virgin, hope of Christians, God to whom thou givest birth and manifest understanding and recounting, do thou unceasingly entreat with the host on high, that he grant to those who ever glorify thee with faith and love the remission of all our sins and correction of life. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Have mercy on thee, O God, what in thy great mercy, what in the multitude of thy compassion, glorify my transgression, wash me still away from my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin, for I know what iniquity of my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned and done this evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words, and for thou and thou art judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and in sins did my mother bear me. For behold, thou hast loved truth, the hidden secret things of thy wisdom, as thou made manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with this, and that I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness, the bones of me humbled, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Read in me a clean heart, O God, and renew your right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take off thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and with thy governing spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from thy guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation. My tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and thy mouth shall declare thy praise. Where thou art desired, sacrifice I have given it, but whole and offerings thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit, a heart that is broken and humbled, God will not despise. <coughs> you will reward and I give pleasure and desire that the walls of Jerusalem be builded. Then shalt thou be pleased with a sacrifice of righteousness for the nation and home and offerings. Then shall they offer bullets upon thine altar. I shall open my mouth, and with the Spirit shall it be filled, and I shall speak a word unto the Queen and Mother. I shall be seen radiantly keeping peace, and joyfully praising her wonders. O venerable Father, Sergius, pray to God for us. With the light of thee, the three Son Godhead, O my Creator, illumine the darkened eyes of my soul, I beseech thee, and cleanse my heart that I may give the uncovering of the precious relics of the venerable Sergius who loved thee. O venerable martyr Elizabeth, pray to God for us. 
Open thou my lips, O Christ, that I may him the struggles of thy favored one, the venerable martyr Elizabeth, that by her supplication she may dispel the cloud of my ignorance. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, dwelling now with the choirs of the prophets and apostles, the martyrs and the venerable ones, in the light of the Holy Trinity, O venerable martyr Elizabeth, be thou mindful of thy children who keep thy memorial with faith, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou didst conceive the word of the Father, who joined himself to the flesh through thee, without forsaking the divine hypostasis of your mother. And the venerable Elizabeth, desiring him, acquired the glory of martyrdom. Mm-hmm. O Mother of God, the living and plentiful found, give strength to those united in spiritual fellowship. Who sing as a praise to thee and in thy divine glory, are shaped unto the crowns of glory. Venerable Father, servants, pray to God for us. Come, let us now join together on this present feast, and let us behold and be filled with joy that we may glorify Christ, who hath so glorified those who glorify him. And hath given us the divinely blessed surges as an invincible rampart and bestower of miracles. O venerable martyr Elizabeth, pray to God for us. The beginning of thine earthly life didst thou spend in the city of Darmstadt, where the pious martyr Tsar built a church to the Holy Mary Magdalene, equal of the apostles. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. There now in holy Gethsemane are thy relic, holy relics preserved, before which we, thy unworthy and useless servants, bow down in piety, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In thy womb, God has received the one infinite God, O all pure and the Holy Ghost. Wherefore, all of us, the faithful, bless thee with him. O Mother of God, the living and plentiful God, give strength to those united in spiritual fellowship, who sing in the praise to thee and in thy divine glory. Mercy unto them, crowns of glory. Again and again, peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, 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 Lord
Thou didst labor in this life that we who honor the uncovering of thy precious relics with love may be granted remission of sins. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O passion bearer, holy Princess Elizabeth, when they cast thee down alive into the pit at Alapayas with the holy martyrs of royal blood, Princes Sergius, John, Constantine, Igor, and Vladimir, as well as the martyr Barbara and the holy martyr Theodore, and he suffered long from your wounds. Though thou wast barely alive, thou didst ease the sufferings of the dying, chanting sacred hymns which were heard by those who passed by. Wherefore we entreat thee, beseech Christ God, that he grant remission of transgressions unto those who with love celebrate thy holy memory, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages on them. When I must needs stand before the face of my Creator on the day of his righteous judgment, O Mistress, be thou a mediator before him for me, delivering me from everlasting torments, lest I descend into Hades. Save me by thy need, O holy day of repose. Receiving the unfathomable counsel of God, the incarnation of thee, the Most High from the Virgin, the prophet Abba cried aloud, Glory to thy power, O Lord. O venerable Father Sergius, pray to God for us. Like a fragrant lily, thy precious relics have emerged from the bosom of the earth, O blessed Sergius. And like a treasure, they emit the radiance of miracles, gladdening thy spiritual children. O holy bread, that holy new water, Elizabeth, pray to God for us. O Holy Grand Duchess, new martyr Elizabeth, pray to God for us. Having set thy feet upon the rock of the pure Orthodox faith, let us remain unshaken by the temptations and assaults of thine ungodly persecutors. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let us withdraw from this vain world to the holy convent of Martha and Mary. Labor then ceasing him in his prayers, thou mightest set it not all the carnal passions. That with the company of women of like mind with thee, thou mightest serve God and neighbor. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages, Amen. Thou art the most of the faithful, Theotokos, who knewest not my love. Thou art the intercessor and refuge of Christians. Entreat thy son also for us, who have recourse to thy protection. The whole world is amazed at thy divine glory, for thou, O Virgin, who hast thou known by thy is contained within the womb and the rest God over all, and gave us birth to the time of the sun, granting peace unto all who hear O Venerable Father, Sergius, pray to God for us. Though Holy Church, wondrous in righteousness, and the Trinity, our God, is abundantly adored, O divinely wise Sergius, and a multitude of the people spiritually, re spiritually rejoice, beholding thee carried with honor in the arms of the high work of God, upborne upon the shoulders of the priests. O venerable martyr Elizabeth, pray to God for us. Round by an all splendid wreath, thou standest before the throne of the King of all. Wherefore, pray thou, O venerable martyr Elizabeth, for those who with faith and love celebrate thy holy memory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou didst open mind and heart to the habitation of grace, didst receive the one Master, and didst obtain a crown of incorruption, which shineth with radiant splendors and rich gifts, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. We wield thee, O pure Theotokos, as an invincible sword against the enemy. And we have acquired these the confirmation and hope of our salvation. Celebrating this divine and most honored festival of the Mother of God, come be divinely wise, let us clap our hands and glorify God who was born of her. The Venerable Father Sergius, pray to God for us. Having loved Christ from childhood, O Father Sergius, following his life bearing steps, thou didst leave this world and this attain unto the never waning light of understanding, where thou now standest with boldness before the Holy Trinity, whom do thou beseech in behalf of us all. O venerable martyr Elizabeth, pray to God for us. When thou wast led to the slaughter with thy faithful nun, Barbara, and the grand dukes, thou didst maintain strength of spirit, refusing to renounce Christ God, whom thou dost truly serve. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
O thou who didst hearken to the groans of the wounded in the pit of Alkaios and lovingly bind up their bodily wounds, come to the aid of us who are wounded by pride and boastfulness and bind up the cruel sores of our souls, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In behalf of us who piously bless thee, ever entreat him who became incarnate of thee, O Virgin Mother, that we may be delivered from his fortune, from his soul destroying passions, and from everlasting torment. <laughs> Celebrating this divine and most honored festival of the Mother of God, turn ye divinely wise, let us clap our hands, and glorify God who was born of the Praise the Lord. Lord Our blessings and mercies, O God, may thy praise. All in your reverence, O most holy, most pure, most blessed, and most holy, 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 and most And of glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thy precious relic shining forth from the ground today, like the already the sun, have been found to be incorrupt. We stand in with a multitude of miracles, like a fragrant flower, pouring forth the mercilings upon all the faithful, and gladdening thy chosen flock, which have been wisely assembled at his shepherd well. In their behalf, thou no sentest in supplication before the Trinity. Praying that victory be granted to our Orthodox hierarchs over all heresies, that we may all cry out to Thee. Rejoice, O divinely wise surgeons. Having spurned that which is in the world, O divinely wise Father, Thou didst acquire incorrupt habitations which transcend the world. And having been enriched with abundant gifts by the right hand of the Almighty in accordance with the number of thy virtues, and been crowned with the wreath of honor as a victor, thou dost enrich with miracles all who can be thus. Rejoice of thou who before thy nativity didst glorify the Holy Trinity by a threefold exclamation. Rejoice thou who didst consider the beauty and glory of the world to be as done. Rejoice for thou didst make thy abode in the wilderness. Rejoice, for thou didst make of it a city. Rejoice, for therein thou didst erect an all-honored temple for the praise of the Holy Trinity. Rejoice, for having assembled therein multitudes of monastics, thou didst lead, <coughs> lead them to the Lord. Rejoice, for thou wast our safe and merciful visitation of the Mother of God. <coughs> Rejoice, for thou didst serve her in the flesh like an angel. Rejoice, for thou prayest to the Lord in behalf of those who honor the uncovering of thy precious relics. Rejoice, for thou art a weapon of salvation for our orthodox hierarchs and a vanquisher of all heresies. Preserve them ever in health and gladness that we may all celebrate thine, thine uncovering with splendor, joyously crying, Rejoice, O divinely wise surgeon. <laughs> The godly minded ones did not serve the creation in place of the Creator, but bravely trampled down the flame of fire as rejoicing they sang. Blessed art thou, and praise of the Lord, God of our fathers. O venerable Father, Sergius, praise you, God, for us. Resplendent in thy radiant life, for wondrous surgeons, in this life thou didst attain over the ranks of the incorporeal ones. And thou now joinest course with them before the throne of the God of all, who do thou beg that he grant remission of sins unto those who would love celebrate the memory of the uncovering of thy precious relics. <clears throat> o venerable Mother Elizabeth, pray to God for us. The church, having ascended to the never-waiting light, like the sun thou illuminest the whole world, for thou didst do the works of life, 
Wherefore, enlighten us also, the unworthy who now cry out, O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Shining with rays of grace, O venerable water Elizabeth, ask permission of sins for us who keep thy splendid feast and chant. O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. Both now and ever, and unto the end of the ages, Amen. Rejoice, O all pure, O blessed one, we cry to thee with Gabriel. Beseech thy son, that by thy supplications he save our souls. The offspring of the Theotokai, save the holy children in the furnace. Then in figure, but now indeed, and he gathereth together all the world to sing. Praise the Lord, O ye works, and exalt them supremely for all ages. O venerable <coughs> Father, Sergius, pray to God for us. The temple of God is illumined with heavenly light, and therein the assemblies of the pious rejoice. Beholding me, O divinely blessed Sergius, born in the hands of the hierarchs, and venerated with mouth and soul by all the faithful who cry out to Christ. Bless the Lord unceasingly, O ye works of the Lord. O venerable martyr Elizabeth, pray to God for us. Today, a final radiant memorial shown forth, O venerable martyr Elizabeth, holy princess, summoning us to a celebration that we may glorify the endurance wherewith thou, with the other martyrs, did struggle in the pits of Alephias, and that we may cry out, Bless the Lord, all ye works of the Lord. We bless the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. Forsaking royal palaces, thou dost attain unto the heavenly bridal chamber prepared for thee by Christ, thy beloved bridegroom, whom seeing thou criest out, bless the Lord all ye works of the Lord, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, Amen. Because of thee, O all pure bride of God, grief hath ceased, the curse hath truly died away through barrenness, and blessing hath blossomed forth for the faithful forever. We praise you, bless you, worship the Lord, praising and exalting him supremely for all ages. The offspring of the Theotokos, save the holy children in the furnace. Then in figure, but now indeed, and he gathereth together all the world to sing. Praise the Lord, O he works, and exalt him supremely for all ages. Tokos, the mother of life, let us magnify in song. My soul is magnified the Lord, and my spirit has rejoiced in God, my Savior. More than all of the cherubim, and the arch of the most glorious and the seraphim, who is all corruption, give us birth to God the Lord. For he that looks upon the loneliness of his head for the old commands for the generations of come in blessed, more honorable than the cherubim, and the glorious and the seraphim, who without corruption gave his birth to God the word, the very theos of proceed to be magnified. For the mighty one and the great is in the end, holy is his name, and his mercy is on him, and fear and on to generation and generation. More honorable than the cherubim, and the ark of the most glorious and the seraphim, who without corruption gave his birth to God the world, the very tales of the steed. He has shown strength with his arm, he has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts, more honorable than the cherubim, and the ark of the more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption gave his birth to God the world, the very tales of the who he magnified. He hath put down the mighty from their seed, and exalted them of low degree. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare more glorious than the 
seraphim, who without corruption gave us birth to know the word, the very tales of us he do we magnify. He hath opened his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, as he spake to our fathers, to Abraham and his seed forever. For all revolved in the cherubim, and beyond comparable glorious of the seraphim, who without corruption gave us birth to know the word, the very tale to proceed to be magnified. Let each one who hath been born think for joy, enlightened by the Spirit. And that the bodiless minds keep the feast and honor the sacred wonders of the Mother of God. And that each one cry aloud, rejoice all blessed Theotokos, pure ever virgin. O Venerable Father, Sergius, praise your God for us. More brightly than the rays of the Son of God, bear the fine, all glorious memory, illumine the faithful, the pious, we honor thee. Who venerate the shrine of thy precious relics with faith and love and praise thee in hymns of divinely wise surges. O venerable Mother Elizabeth, pray to God for us. Thou didst eagerly acquire everlasting life, O Mother of Christ, who shinest forth from afar in the blood of thy martyrdom. Wherefore thou also callest us to thy feet, so instructress of monastic, <laughs> holy Elizabeth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. By thy supplications, O divinely chosen bride of Christ, break thou the bonds of mine offenses and dispel the gloom of my passions, both now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Through thy gift giving, hath the light of radiance shone forth, illumining the whole world, and destroying the prince of darkness, O most pure Theotokos, and for all who praise thee with never ceasing voices. Let each one who hath been born in for joy, enlightened by the Spirit, and let the bodiless minds keep the feast, and honor the sacred wonders of the Mother of God. And let each one cry aloud, rejoice on blessed Theotokos, pure ever virgin. Praise the name of the Lord, for he spake, and they came to be, he commanded, and they were created. 
He established them forever, yea, forever and ever. He has set an ordinance, and it shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, ye dragons, and all ye abysses. Fire, hail, snow, ice, blast, and tempest, which perform his word. The mountains, and all the hills, fruitful trees, and all cedars, the beasts, and all the cattle, creeping things, and winged birds. Kings of the earth, and all peoples, princes, and all the judges of the earth. Young men and virgins, elders with the younger, let them praise the name of the Lord, for exalted is the name of him alone. His praise is above the earth and heaven, and he shall exalt the horn of his people. This is the hymn for all his saints, for the sons of Israel, and for the people that draw nigh unto him. Sing unto the Lord a new song, his praises in the church of the saints. Let Israel be glad in him that made him, let the sons of Zion rejoice in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance, for the timber and the salt, let them chant unto him. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people, and he shall exalt the meek with salvation. The saints shall boast in glory, and they shall rejoice upon their beds. The high praise of God shall be in their throat, and two-edged swords shall be in their hands. To do vengeance among the heathen, punishments among the peoples, to bind their kings with fetters, and the nobles with manacles of iron. To do among them the judgment that is written, this glory shall be to all his saints. Praise ye God and his saints, praise him in the covenant of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to the multitude of his greatness. As a great, clear, radiant star of Christ, the never setting sun, loudest and light in all with the beams of thy virtues. O divinely wise Mother, surges blessed of God, and with the radiance of miracles, thou dost illumine all the ends of the earth, and those who with faith cherish thy holy memory, and splendidly honor in him the venerable uncovering of thy relic. Raise <clears throat> him with the sound of trumpet, Praise him with the psaltery and heart. Thou hast been shown to be a beacon of great radiance, a most excellent physician of the sick, and a right prudent shepherd of monastics, a weapon of salvation for our pious orthodox hierarchs, victory over the enemy. The adornment of all the land of Russia, a constant advocate for all who in both thy name with faith of surges, and celebrate with love the uncovering of thy precious relic. In the eighth tone, praise him with timbrel and dance, praise him with strings and flute. We celebrate thy sacred memorial, for thou dost accept the love of Christ, and his precepts, O venerable martyr, and is proclaim the salvation of men's souls. Wherefore we venerate with faith the shrine of thy relics, O Elizabeth, which poureth forth grace and abundance upon those who have recourse unto it with faith and love. Praise him with thirdful symbols, praise him with symbols of jubilation. Let every breath praise the Lord. Blessed is the holy city and the convent of Gethsemane unto which he attained. O venerable martyrs, Elizabeth and Barbara the Nun, and the temple which received your bodies, hath been adorned as with a royal crown. O right pleasing protector to frighten away the enemy, and drive them far away from your convent and city. Pray that our souls be saved. Glory in the sixth tone. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Having assembled today, O ye faithful Christian people, let us be filled with joy. 
and for the choir that is spiritually celebrate the right eminent festival of the venerable father crying out to christ in songs and hymns O oh, Master Christ, to our race thou hast revealed such a bestower of miracles, the great ally of the Horatian land, O oh, venerable and divinely wise Father Sergius, earnestly beseech Christ our God in behalf of all, who honor thee with faith and both now in the same tone, both now and ever and unto the ages of the ages of men, no one who has recourse to thee, O oh, pure virgin, they Thoros, departed from thee ashamed, for he asketh grace and receiveth a gift. For his profitable petition. Glory to the Lord in the highest, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will among men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee, we give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, O Lord, God the begotten of the Father, that takest away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Thou that takest away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For Thou only art holy, Thou only art the Lord Jesus Christ. To the glory of God the Father, Amen. Every day will I praise Thy name forever, ye forever and ever. Lord, save, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. Blessed art thou, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is thy name unto the ages. Amen. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us, according as we have hoped in thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Lord, thou hast been our refuge in generation and generation. I said, O Lord, have mercy on me, give my soul, for I have sinned against thee. O Lord, unto thee have I fled for refuge. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. For in thee is the fountain of life, in thy light shall we see light. For continue thy mercy unto them that know thee. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. From thy youth thou didst receive Christ within thy soul, O venerable one. And this desire more than all to withdraw from the tumult of the world. Thou didst manfully dwell in the wilderness, and therein didst produce the fruit of humility, the children of obedience. Wherefore, as thou becamest the abode of the Trinity, thou hast illumined with thy miracles. 
All who have recourse to Thee with faith, granting healing in abundance unto all, O Sergius our Father, entreat Christ God, let us save our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, causing meekness, humility, and love to dwell in thy soul. Let us earnestly serve the suffering, O holy passion, bearer, Princess Elizabeth. Wherefore, in faith with the martyr Barbara, Thou didst faithfully endure sufferings and death for Christ. Pray both for all who honor you with love. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The mystery hidden from before the ages and unknown even to the hath been revealed to those on earth through the Otokos, God incarnate in unconfused union, who willingly accepted the cross for our sake, and thereby raising up the first for man. He has saved our souls from death. And mercy to us, O God, according to thy great mercy, we pray thee, our condemned and our mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. We pray for me, Lord, and Father, as well as his, which we are to know, our Lord, may most reverend, Metropolitan Mark, our Lord, most reverend, Bishop Nicholas, all our brethren in Christ, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. We pray for all the Holy Father, the Adventist Holy Monastery, our country, and all his brethren in Christ, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. We pray for this land, to for it is in God for sin. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. We pray for the opportunity of Russian land, and so for God's people, both in the homeland and the diaspora, for their salvation. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. We pray for the blessed and ever noble town of this holy monastery, for all our fathers and brethren, and all the rest before us. Orthodox, here and everywhere, lay to rest. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. We pray for mercy, life, peace, and salvation to the patient, our remission of the sins of the servants of God, the brethren of this holy monastery. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Now I just look down at the mercy of life on the people of Ukraine and land and make it uncomfortable by those who are strived. We pray the old kind hearted Lord, our tenant have mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. We pray for the Lord and Savior, the Lord of mercy, the Lord of mercy, the Lord of mercy, the Lord of mercy, the Lord of mercy. Grant our peace and tranquility, love and accord. Let us all say, O Lord, our Redeemer, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. We pray that you will bless the building of our new church and that foundation be laid successfully to the glory of His name. Let it be continued speedily without hindrance until its completion. By the power, operation, and grace of the Most Holy Spirit, let us all say, O Lord. Our goodness have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. We pray for them to bring all friends to the words, this holy, all beautiful temple, and that they have spared in that chant, and all people to present their way to be, great and abundant mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy.
O Lord, guide me in the way of thy righteousness, because of mine enemies they straight my way before thee. For in their mouth there is no truth, their heart is vain, their throat is an open sepulchre, and that their tongue will be spoken deceitfully. Judge them, O God, let them call down an account of their own devisings. According to the multitude of their ungodliness, cast them out, for they have admitted thee, O Lord, and let all them be glad that openly they shall ever rejoice, for thou shalt dwell among them. And all shall glory in thee that love thy name, for thou shalt bless the righteous. O Lord, is it the shield of thy pleasure hast thou found us? O Lord, thou hast been a refuge of generation and generation, where the mountains came to be, and the earth was formed, and the world even from everlasting to everlasting thou art. Turn not man away into loneliness, yea, thou hast said, turn back ye sons of men. For a thousand years in mine eyes, O Lord, or as but yesterday that is past, and as a watch in the night, things of no account shall their years be, and the morning like grass shall man pass away. And the morning shall be blue and pass away, and the evening shall be fall and grow withered and dry. For we are faithful away in thy wrath, and in thy anger have we been troubled. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee, our life span is in the light of thy countenance. For all our days are faded away, and in thy wrath are we painted away. Our years have, like a spider, spun out their tail. As for the days of our years, and their span may be three score years and ten. And if we be in strength, may have four score years, and what is more than these is oil and travail. Mildness has come upon us, and we shall be chastened. Know the might of thy wrath, and out of fear of thee who can recount thine anger. So make thy right hand known unto me, and to them that are in my heart are instructed in this done. Return, O Lord, how long, and be thou entreated concerning my servants. We were filled with the morning with thy mercy, O Lord, and we rejoice and were glad. In all our days, let us be glad for the days wherein thou didst humble us, for the years wherein we saw evils. And look upon my servants and upon my works, and there thou die their sons, and let the brightness of the Lord of God be upon us. And the works of our hands do thou guide right upon us, see the work of our hands do thou guide right. Of mercy and judgment will I sing unto thee, O Lord. I will chant and have understanding in a blameless path. When will thou come unto me? I have walked in the innocence of my heart in the midst of my house. I have no unlawful thing before my eyes. The workers of transgressions have I hated. Crooked heart hath not cleaved unto me. As for the wicked man who turned from me, I knew him not. Him that privily talked against his neighbor, did I drive away from me? It was I was proud, and his heart was satiate. I did not eat. Mine eyes were upon the faithful of the land, that they might sit with me. The man that walked in the blameless path, he ministered unto me. A proud doer dwelt not in the midst of my house. Speaker of unjust things prospered not before my eyes. In the morning I slew all the sinners of the Lamb, utterly to destroy out of the city of the Lord all them that work iniquity. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for now and ever, and the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to the O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to the O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to the O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. From thy youth thou did receive Christ within thy soul, O venerable one, and its desire more than all to withdraw from the tumult of the world. Thou didst manifest and command fully dwell in the wilderness, and therein didst produce the fruit of humility, the children of obedience. Wherefore, as thou becamest the abode of the Trinity, thou was illumined with thy miracles, all who have recourse to thee with faith, granting healing and abundance unto all that serve thee as our Father. Entreat Christ God that he save our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit causing meekness, humility, and love to dwell in my soul, let us earnestly serve the suffering of holy passion bearer, Princess Elizabeth. Wherefore, with faith, let us endure suffering and death. For Christ, with the martyr Barbara, with her pray, for all who honor thee, with love, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. What shall we call thee, O God, our full of grace, heaven, for thou hast gone forth the sun of righteousness, paradise, for thou hast blossomed forth the flower of immortality, virgin, for thou hast remained incorrupt, your mother, for thou hast held in my holy embrace, the Son, the God of all, him do thou entreat to save our souls. My steps to thy direct, according to thy saying, let no iniquity have dominion over me. Deliver me from the false accusation of men, and I will keep thy commandments. Make thy face to shine upon my servant, and teach me thy statutes. Let my mouth be filled with thy praise, O Lord, that I may give thy glory and thy majesty all the day long. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, blood of our sins, O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit in your our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom. And will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this dare daily bread, and give us our debts as we forgive our debtors. <coughs> and it is not a temptation to deliver us from the evil one. That is the kingdom of the power, the glory, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and in the ages of the ages. Amen. Thy precious Holy Mother, 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 Mother,
forth from the ground today like the all radiant sun, having found to me and corrupt, resplendent with a multitude of miracles like a fragrant flower, pouring forth diverse healings upon all the faithful, and gladdening thy chosen flock, which, having wisely assembled, thou didst shepherd well. In their behalf, thou now standest in supplication before the Trinity, praying that victory be granted to our orthodox hierarchs over all heresies, that we may all cry out unto thee, rejoice of divinely wise Sergius. Lord of mercy, 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 Thou for all times and every hour, in heaven and on earth, but worshipped and glorified, O Christ God, who art long suffering, plenteous in mercy, most compassionate, who lovest the righteous and has mercy on sinners, who tell us all the salvation through the promise and good things to come. Receive, O Lord, our prayers of this hour, guide our light towards thy commandments, sanctify our souls, make chase our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, when evil, and pain. Come, us about with thy holy angels, that guard and guided by their array. May obtain to the unity of the faith and knowledge of thy inapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, beyond the more glorious than the seraphim. Without corruption, gives birth to God the Word. The very day of hope was thee to be magnified. In the name of the Lord, O Father, bless. Now be gracious unto us, and bless us, and cause thy face to shine upon us, and have mercy on us. Amen. O Christ, true light, who enlightens and sanctifies of men, and the of the world, that the light of thy countenance be signed upon us, that we may see the unapproachable light, and guide our steps in the doing of thy commandments, with the intercessions of thy most pure mother, and of all thy saints. Amen.
Like as the Father hath compassion upon his sons, so hath the Lord hath compassion upon them that fear him. For he knoweth whereof we are made, he hath remembered that we are dust. As for man, his days are as the grass, as a flower of the field, so shall he blossom forth. For when the wind is passed over it, then it shall be gone, and no longer will it know the place thereof. But the mercy of the Lord is from eternity, even unto eternity, upon them that fear him. And his righteousness is upon the sons of sons, upon them that keep his testament, and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord in heaven hath prepared his throne, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, all ye his angels, mighty in strength, to perform his word, to hear the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, all ye his hosts, his ministers that do his will. Bless the Lord, all ye his works in every place of his dominion. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Blessed art thou, O Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord in my life. I will chant unto my God for as long as I have my being. Trusting not in princes and the sons of men, in whom there is no salvation, his spirit shall go forth, and he shall return unto his earth. In that day all his thoughts shall perish. Blessed is he of whom the God of Jacob is his help, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who hath made heaven and the earth, the sea, and all that is therein, who keepeth truth unto eternity, who executeth judgment for the wrong, who giveth food unto the hungry. The Lord looseth the better, the Lord maketh wise the blind, the Lord setteth the right to fall, and the Lord loveth the righteous, the Lord preserveth the proselytes. He shall adopt for his own the orphan and widow, and the way of sinners shall be destroyed. The Lord shall be king unto eternity, thy God is on unto generation and generation, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O only begotten Son and Word of God, who art immortal, yet disdain for our salvation to be incarnate with the holy Theotokos and of the Virgin Mary, and without change has become man and was crucified with Christ God, trampling down death by death. Thou who art one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit, save us. In thy kingdom, remember us, O Lord, and thou comest in thy kingdom. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for they are the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they that hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are they that are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall rebel you and persecute you, and shall say, All men are evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in the heavens. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us attend. Peace be unto all, and to thy spirit, wisdom. For keeping on in the fourth tone, who maketh his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. Who maketh his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. Bless the Lord, O my soul, O Lord my God, thou hast been magnified exceedingly. Who maketh his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. And in the same tongue, for thy sake, O Lord, we are slain all the day long. For thy sake, O Lord, we are slain all the day long. Wisdom. The reading is from the epistle of the holy apostle Paul to the Romans. Let us attend. Brethren, I beseech you, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid them. For they that are such serve not our Lord Jesus Christ, but their own belly, and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. For your obedience is come abroad unto all men. I am glad, therefore, on your behalf, but yet I would have you wise unto that which is good and simple concerning evil. And the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. Timotheus, my workfellow, and Lucius, and Jason, and Sosipater, my kinsmen, salute you. I, Tertius, who wrote this epistle, salute you in the Lord. 
Gaius, mine host and of the whole church, saluteth you. Erastus, the chamberlain of the city, saluteth you. And Quartus, a brother, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. And to thy spirit, wisdom, the Alleluia in the fifth town. Praise ye the Lord, all ye his angels, praise him, all ye his host. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. For he spake, and they came to be, he commanded, and they were created. Alleluia, alleluia. In the first tone, our God is refuge and strength and helper in afflictions which mightily befall us. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. This let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. According to St. Luke, let us attend. At that time, Jesus stood in the flame in the company of his disciples and a great multitude of people out of all Judea and Jerusalem and from the sea coast of Tyre and Sidon, which came to cure him and to be healed of their diseases. And they that were vexed with unclean spirits, and they were healed. And the whole multitude sought to touch him, but there went virtue out of him and healed them all. And he lifted up his eyes on his disciples and said, Blessed be ye poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are ye that hunger now, for ye shall be filled. Blessed are ye that weep now, for ye shall laugh. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you, and when they shall separate you from their company, and shall reproach you, and cast out your name as evil, for the Son of Man's sake. Rejoice ye in that day, and leap for joy, for behold, your reward is great in heaven. said to his disciples, These things I command you, that ye love one another. If the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. Remember the word that I said unto you, The servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. But all these things will they do unto you, for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. If I had come, if I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin, but now they have no cloak for their sin. He that hated me hated my father also. If I had not done among them the works which were of which other men did, they had not sinned. But now have they both seen and hated both me and my father. But this came to pass that the world might that the word might be fulfilled that was written in their law. They hated me without a cause. But when the Comforter is come, when I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of Truth, which proceeded from the Father, he shall testify of me. And ye also shall bear witness, because ye have been with me from the beginning. These things I have spoken unto you, and ye should not be offended. They shall put you out of the synagogues. Ye the time cometh, that whoever killeth you will think that he doeth God's service. Remember us, O Master, when thou comest in thy 
thy kingdom. Remember us, O holy one, and thou comest in thy kingdom. The heavenly choir praiseth thee and saith, Holy, 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 Lord of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Come unto him in the enlightened men, your face shall not be ashamed. The heavenly choir praiseth thee and saith, Holy, 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 Lord of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The choir of holy angels and archangels of all the heavenly hosts praiseth thee and saith, Holy, 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 Lord of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of thy glory, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten of made, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from the heavens, and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became man, and was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried, and arose again on the third day according to the scriptures, and descended into the heavens, and sitteth at the right hand of the Father, and shall come again with glory to judge both the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets, in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess on baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Remit, pardon, forgive, O God, our offenses, both voluntary and involuntary, in deed and word, in knowledge and ignorance, by day and by night, in mind and thought. Forgive us all things, for Thou art good and the lover of mankind. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be Thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. And the kingdom, the power, the glory, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and the ages of ages. Amen. <laughs> o thou who was lifted up willingly on the cross, bestow thy mercies upon the new community named after thee, O Christ God. Led with thy power the Orthodox Christians, granting them victory over enemies. May they have as thy help the weapon of peace, the invincible trophy. Supreme commanders of God and ministers of the divine glory, guides of men and leaders of the angels, ask for what is to our profit and for great mercy, since ye are supreme commanders of the bodiless hosts. From thy youth let us receive Christ from that within thy soul, the venerable one and his desire more than all to withdraw from the tumult of the world, that its manfully dwell in the wilderness, and therein does produce the fruit of humility, the children of obedience. Wherefore, as thou becamest the abode of the Trinity, thou hast illumined with thy miracles all who have recourse to thee with faith, granting healing to an abundance unto all. O Sergius, our Father, entreat Christ God that he save our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Taking up the cross of Christ, thou didst pass from royal glory to the glory of heaven, praying for thine enemies, O holy martyr Princess Elizabeth, and with the martyr Barbara, thou didst find everlasting joy. Therefore pray ye in behalf of our souls, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O protection of Christians that cannot be put to shame, O mediation under the Creator unfailing, this day not the suppliant voices of sinners, but be thou quick, O good one, to help us to in faith cry unto thee. Hasten to intercession, and be thou to make supplication. Thou wouldest ever protect, O Theotokos, them that honor thee. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. O all holy Trinity, the consubstantial dominion, the indivisible kingdom, and cause of every good. Show thy good will, even unto me, the sinner. <clears throat> Make steadfast my heart and grant an understanding, and take away my every defilement. Enlighten my mind, that I may glorify him, worship and say, One is holy, one is Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. 
Blessed be the name of the Lord and forth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord and forth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord and forth and forevermore. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. In the Lord shall my soul be praised. Let them eat here and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all my tribulations. Come unto him, and be enlightened, and your faces shall not be ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his tribulations. The angel of the Lord will encamp round about them that fear him, and will deliver them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good, and blessed is the man that hopeth in him. O oh, fear the Lord, all ye his saints, for there is no one to them that fear him. Rich men have turned poor and gone hungry, but they that seek the Lord shall not be deprived of any good thing. Come, ye children, hearken unto me, I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is there that desireth life, who loveth to seek good days? Keep thy tongue from evil, and thy lips from speaking guile. Turn away from evil, and do good, seek peace, and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their supplication. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil, utterly to destroy the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cried, and the Lord heard them, and he delivered them out of all their tribulations. The Lord is nigh to them that are of a contrite heart, and he will save the humble of spirit. Many are the tribulations of the righteous, and the Lord shall deliver them out of them all. The Lord keepeth all their bones, not one of them shall be broken. The death of sinners is evil, and they that hate the righteous shall do wrong. The Lord will redeem the souls of his servants, and none of them will do wrong that hope in him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Father of life. Christ, our true God, and to the intercessions of his most pure mother, to the power of the precious and life giving cross, and the creation of the honorable and the bodiless foes, and the holy glorious and all praise to all the souls of the holy great martyr, <coughs> and healer Pontalina, of our holy father Athanasius of Athos, and of our holy father Sergius, the abbot of and wonder worker of our age, of the holy new martyr, the grand duchess Elizabeth, and of the holy and righteous sisters of God, the king and honor of all the saints. Have mercy on us and save us, be as good in the love of mankind. Amen. Our great Lord and Father Kirill, most holy patriarch of Moscow and of Russia, our Lord, the very most reverend Mark, Metropolitan of Berlin and Germany, our Lord, the most reverend Nicholas, Bishop of Manhattan, the old venerable abbot of this holy monastery, our commandments here of him, the brethren of this holy monastery, and all Orthodox Christians, reserve, O Lord, for many years. Blessed is our God, always and ever and unto the age of ages. I'm not the 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 I'm not the
Priest Joseph, Skilma Kantani, Monty Kama, John Mukherat, Monty Kasi, Rashma Victor, Rashma Kapren, Abbas Mazayan, Pedora, and Pedora, Richard Clara, David Chow, Thomas Green, Anastasia Jane, Juliana Kimbu, Harvey Wu, Sarah David, Anna John, and Lindy Jean, Juliana Edward Irene, John Henry, Peter Salmonia, Basil Hania, Sarah Clementine, Peter Alexei, Tatiana Margaret, Leo Alexander Maria, David Michael, Patrick Melissa, Jihad Carolina, Bird Leroy, Elke Alliance, Sandra Berry, Kaylee Bill, Jeffrey Michael, Michael Laura, Penny James, Frank Jocelyn, Linda Sarah, Anna, Agatha, Jesse, Tiffany Marlene, Anna, Sharon David, Michael Timothy. And all those here commemorated in Pardon of the Dower, Time of the Bell Transgression, Voluntary and Voluntary. With the rays and the fruit of sickness, we pray thee, our cadet have mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Our cadet was the better Savior, the help of all the ends of the earth, and the many far off at sea. Be merciful, be merciful, and ask to regard our sins, have mercy on us. For a merciful God art thou, the Lord of mankind, for he to the ascent of glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and amongst the ages of ages. Amen. Holy Great Mother, heal upon us and let us pray. O Holy Great Mother, heal upon us and let us pray to God for us. O Great Fear of Christ, the most glorious healer, Great Mother, upon us and let us pray. The spirit of stand before the throne of God in heaven and the rise and glory of history and apostasies. For in his honor from thy holy visage, we hit upon the icons in the divine churches, and as for forth diverse miracles, and the grace given thee from on high, with the eye of mercy watch over these people, bound before the knowledge of icon, for him with compunction and asking, and with the aid and unto thee, so may for the Lord our God, and for his truth deeds, and as for his repentances for our souls, and though not daring to raise our eyes to the heights of heaven because of our transgression, with the dry heart and the spirit of humility, we call upon thee, the merciful mediator and intercessor for the master to our sinners, that thou hast received the day of the grace to kill the penalties, and to dispel the passion. Therefore, we beseech thee, the sinners not to move the Lord, we pray to thee, and then ask thy name, that thou art of a great mystery, the physician of the day must suffer and be the sympathies, as we do that day for the endangered, the restorer of vision for those whose eyes are afflicted, the ready intercessor for the day of the age and sufferings and the illness of through thy mediation without being all things, Father of salvation, and having a part of grace and mercy to thy prayers to the Lord God, and to all thy God, the source of the spirit of all blessings, who is glorified in the Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Wisdom, O Soi Feo Toko, Seba, who are a hundred more than the cherubim. Corruption gave us birth to God the Word. The very day I took our speed, do we magnify? In the name of Christ, God, our whole glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Amen.